the last time you were here, it was also a week before the first fight, and we said to you then, are you ready? Because Carl Froch says you're not. You were. But same question with one week to go before the rematch. Are you ready? I am. Yeah! <laughs> So when does the training stop? Have you trained this morning? Are you going to train this week? No, training is still, still going on. Um, I train at fight time now, so I was in the gym till past 12 last night. Uh, oh, which is, it's, going it's the it's distance. Nice. Yeah, well, sometimes, yeah. Oh, right. And um, no, we, we start a session today at about 2 o'clock, and then another one again this evening. Okay. Um, Carl Froch underestimated you last time. Is that fair? Well, so he says, so he says. I, I don't think... Uh, I think he used plenty of excuses in the, uh, since the last fight, before even the last fight, and um, maybe I have to ask him if he's going to use any excuses after this one. Do you, do you think you're going to have to be better in this fight than you were in that fight? Um, I don't know whether I'll have to be better. I will be better. <laughs> I always want to be better. I've spent some, some, some great time in the gym. Um, before the last fight, I had to change camp, find new trainers. Um, there was a lot going on. This time I've been much more settled. I've had much more time to prepare, basically. And, um, you know, I know a lot more about Carl Froch, so, you know, I, I'm quietly confident that. Uh, you're not quietly done. confident, you're loudly <laughs> confident. <laughs> 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 you, uh, you asked for You asked for neutral officials, mm -hmm. and you've got a guy from New York um, refing it. Is that what you wanted? Are you happy with that? And why did you want that? Yeah, I mean, I haven't gone through exactly who the officials are yet, but we did want neutral officials because um, there was a huge build-up before the first fight and uh, pictures are painted, you know, in the media that Carl Froch is an ultimate warrior and uh, he's got this legacy and uh, he, he can't be knocked out, granite chin, blah, blah, blah. And that I was chinny and I was had no chance and lo and behold, I go out and bash him up a little bit for a few, yeah, for a few rounds and we get, we, get to, uh, we get to the ninth round. He lands a couple of shots and the referee jumps in prematurely. So, what? yeah. <laughs> so that's why uh, I think neutral officials would be a good idea for this. Um, we don't want officials that are going to have to necessarily see the build up and be susceptible to it and, and be give a consciously or unconsciously bias. But surely, if you're in the game of being a boxing official, you're going to know people's reputations anyway. He's, th surely, he's going to have heard of you both. Yeah, we, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure they have, but. Um, not so much as, you know, guys that are based in the UK, they're going to be asked by their friends and family week in, week out, I'd imagine, and, you know, in boxing circles, they're going to spend the, predominantly their is career more, in the UK. And is it more about making a point, really, of saying, look, I want neutral officials? I think I've got stitched up, so okay, I don't want to get yeah, stitched so up again. Right, like, that's that's the, that's Boys, do you, do you find that? Do you, do you get find out who the ref is on a Friday and go, oh, no? Yeah. We've got to play it differently. <laughs> <laughs> well, we find that just before, just before the game when we get to the ground. And uh, I think just it's natural that you have a better relationship with certain refs than others, really. Who, who's your favourite? <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you do this? Do we love them all. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do, you, do, you, do you sort of go, oh, look, it's, yeah, it's Clattenburg today, we so we'd, we'd better, you know, do something different. We love them all. You love them all. <laughs> Didn't you hear the man? He's already told you. No, I right. Understand. You say you're going to beat him inside three rounds. Your coach Whoa. says five rounds. You've now told us that you are doing fight training up to midnight, which tells me that that's going the distance. So what's it going to be? Uh, we, we, we have sessions that take three hours, so we get in at nine and we, we finish at 12. That's, that's how it pretty much okay. works. Okay. So, so, um, and, yeah, of course, we'll be conditioned to, to fight for 20 rounds. So I, did, I, did, um, I did over 15 rounds sparring this week. I did 15 rounds sparring last week. So you we're, we're fully prepared. You said three, your coach but, says five. But which I'm, is it? I'm pretty sure that um, I'm going to put Carl away in three rounds. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the coach Paddy says five. Or was it six? Five, five or six, he said. Five or six. Yeah. It, okay. won't, it won't surprise you that Carl doesn't think that you'll do it in three rounds. This is what he said to Sky Sports News uh, yesterday, I think it was. You can mark my words with this as well. This fight ain't going to go the distance. It, it's not going to go 12 rounds. He, he, George Groves cannot hear the final bell. I'm going to be setting a ferocious pace. This is why I want him to come out and, you know, be a man of his word and say he's going to try and do me in three rounds. Perfect. This is what I want. So do that, George. If you're coming out for three rounds, 
come and bring it to me. I'm going to take the centre of the ring and I'll meet you there. Um, but I don't think he's going to do that. So we'll see what happens. But I know what I need to do anyway to put the pressure on. <laughs> Carl's funny. He says uh, he's going to come out and take centre of the ring. That's what I told him I was going to do the first time. And that's what I did. So um, what makes you think he's going to be able to do anything different? Um, I, I hope he, he's found confidence from somewhere. He seems like as the fight gets closer, he's, he's really getting wound up. But at the same time, apparently he's been on fight weight for months and he, he looks great. He looks like blending to his T-shirt to me there. So I don't, I don't think... <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think he's necessarily as confident as he makes out. And you don't like him, love him or hate him, you have no feeling towards him, is that? Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's like a loveless marriage, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> I think, You're always together. Yeah, yeah, we just, All right, yeah. We've got to spend a lot of time together and we, we probably bitch about each other behind our backs, but um, ultimately, I just nothing him, so don't like him or dislike him. I nothing him. I nothing him. I'm getting that on the T-shirt. I nothing you. Do you yeah. think he's watching this going, what is George doing on a silly telly show a week before? He's probably watching it going, oh, he should be in the gym. With her. He's, he's, he'll find something that's negative about it, but um, he can do what he wants. Well, to be fair, we did ask him. We asked him to come on the show last week, but he said it's a little bit too close to the fight. Yeah, well... I, I live ten minutes away. It's no big for me. This is George here this morning. <laughs> Did you walk here this morning? Yeah, why not? Eh? He walked here this morning. I Brilliant. Love that. Right, I have to say though, your verbal banter is a lot better this time because I think he won the verbal build-up because he cornered you at one of the pressers, didn't he? And he was saying, "You're not ready. You're not ready." And you, you, you kind of it. He was saying, look at you, look at your face. But you couldn't speak. You didn't have anything back. Which, which one's this? Uh, oh, no, no, we haven't think, got it. Oh, okay. but, just <laughs> but just in that press conference where he was absolutely hammering you to start with, and he was really saying all sorts of stuff, but this time you've been like a little Jack Russell. You've been yapping at his heels <laughs> the whole time, haven't you? And he pushed you. He did, he did. Yeah. He pushed me. Yeah. But, was that was that a moment that you thought he's heavy. he's yeah. he's let his guard down a bit because he's yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know that. Can't have him pushing me. He's supposed to be a professional, he's supposed to be a world champion. How many fights you had? How many fights you had? What? About what? You about what? About what? You, you lay a hand on me again. Yeah. Must be the end of it. The, the very first uh, press conference for the first fight, he, he sat there and he was all built up, ready to go. And he, we came for the first face to face, and he had this probably what was a set routine of verbal, and it was da 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 chatting away. This time round, he decided uh, I, I've come unstuck last time. I just won't even look at him. So just before the push, I just said, Cole, hold it together. Just hold it together, <laughs> Cole. Hold it together. And I, I suppose because he doesn't like doing what I tell him to do, he pushed me. And that caught me off guard for a second because, as I say, I thought he was a professional. Yeah, That's, you know, face to face, you're not supposed to lay your hands on another man. Um, but then, from then on, looked like a, a lot long lost lamb. He stood there like this, and <laughs> I said, Eddie, sort your boy out. You know, what's going on? What's this? What's that? Eddie was twiddling his thumbs, looking at the ceiling, <laughs> yeah, looking at the sky. He said a little bit of your spit landed on him. Yeah, that came out like six weeks later. Like, <laughs> not being funny, if someone spat on me, literally, I wouldn't, you know, if you're going to push him, you say, Dude, you just spat on me. You wouldn't, you wouldn't keep it quiet, and then six weeks later go. Actually, yeah, I think he some, some <laughs> saliva landed on me or something. Okay. Uh, yeah, finally, right. We uh, we've got your fight promo here, um, and normally one of us reads it out if you guys are here. But but could you read this out for us? Uh, it'll be on the it'll be on the script here, and then add in whatever you like. I'm gonna duff him up in the third or whatever you like. But if you could just are we ready? Yeah, yeah. Are you ready? Just down there. Right, a big a big night of live pay per view boxing coming up next Saturday. George Groves yeah, yeah. against Carl yeah. Frost. Yeah. Battle it out at Wembley Stadium. Uh, in London, that is, uh, for the IBF WBA super middleweight titles. There's a full undercard and uh, the action gets away from six, that's an important number, uh, on Skybox office. The quickest way to book this fight is via Sky Remote, see channel 743, uh, go for further details, go to skysports.com forward slash uh, uh, Frox Groves 2. Yeah. Should be the other way. And that's uh, it. Oh, and this is my next question. Well done, George, everybody. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 
Oh, go on. George, uh, do you, uh, would you mind awfully punching this? Just do that. <laughs> He's back again, Carmel Cough. Wait, look, is he, st is he repaired from Danny Dyer last time? He looks a bit, <laughs> he looks a bit creased. He looks a bit thin as well, like we see on TV. No, I'm going to leave him. I'm going to save it again. Sorry, guys. Save it for next time. Yes!